Hi there, this is Bob Wormsley from Insidium and it's Top Tip Tuesday time. And on today's video, we're going to be looking at Terraform FX. And we're going to create an amazingly realistic landscape and we're going to do it just using some noises and then we're going to simulate the effects of rain pouring down over that landscape, washing down the slopes and eroding away at the rock. It's called hydraulic erosion. So let's get into Cinema 4D and we'll get started. In our scene then we have a TF terrain with no operators so let's generate some altitude to get our mountains. We'll go to add operator, we'll bring in a noise. This noise is just going to be for a bit of detail so we'll go to properties, we'll change it to stuple. Let's put the octaves on 12 for more fine detail and we'll leave the scale as it is. Let's go to the operator and we, we don't want much gain, maybe just four centimeters. That's just giving us a little bit of swirling detail. Okay, let's make our mountains then. We'll go to add operator, bring in another noise and we'll go to the properties. We'll leave it on turbulence. Let's give it 12 octaves for fine detail and we can maybe make the scale 120%. And in the operator tab, let's put the gain up to 70. So now we have some kind of undulating, rolling mountains. But it, it looks nice, especially with the lights and the shadows. But we haven't really got shaped mountains and valleys. So we're going to do some realistic simulation of erosion to get that. Let's go to TF Terrain. We'll go to the TF Erosion Filter. And let's go to the properties tab now by default the mode is set to thermal weathering which gives us this smooth look we don't want that so we're going to go and have a look at our hydraulics now the 2d particle hydraulic does a 2d particle sim using some clever maths and it's very fast to calculate the hydraulic x particles does a full 3d x particle sim you can do a fluid sim to make the particles behave more accurately and you've got a few more settings it takes longer to calculate but the, the 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 looks the results are brilliant so we'll do that we'll do an x particles and what we're going to do we're not going to see an awful lot of difference this has been simulated we can't really see many effects of this just yet so we need to make a couple of changes first of all the particles are raining down look there's 10,000 particles they're going to live for 30 frames and they'll fall down the hills because of the gravity where there's a slope and they'll erode away at the rock um, but we need to make a couple of changes. For a start, it's raining everywhere in our landscape at the moment, even in the valleys. We just want particles to rain down on the higher bits and roll down. So we'll change this from everywhere to above. And let's just say only rain above maybe 30 centimeters. OK, so now we've isolated that rain to a certain height. Now, before we move on, we're going to leave most things on default, and you can for most instances. But under this erosion setting, if we pull this down, this is how it erodes the rock from the slopes. And we'll leave erode profile, but the erode life, look what's happening. When a particle is born, it doesn't erode at all. And as it gets older, over its 30 frame life, it erodes more and more. So what we want to do is change this. We want it to start eroding much more quickly. So let's select that knot and we're going to pull it up like this. So now the particles are eroding more at the beginning of their lives. We're still not seeing much though. Let's move up and make a couple of changes. What we're going to do is we're going to have more iterations, which means it's going to go through and simulate the same thing over and over and over again, eroding more and more away. So let's put the iterations on 10. So now it's going to go through this 10 times. And if you follow my mouse down to the bottom left, here it is the calculating. So now we've done more iterations. Look, you can start to see that we're getting some of these channels eroding into our rocks. And these are starting to look like mountains. That's looking really cool. So what else could we do? We could maybe do more particles. Let's put this up to, say, 20,000 particles. So this is going to take longer to calculate because it's calculating more particles in our scene. Yep, and look, you can see more effects of erosion there. Let's get those particles to start behaving like fluid particles so they interact with each other as if they were water. So we can do that by clicking liquid. And again, this, this will add an overhead to the simulation time. If you look at the bottom left with me, it's taking longer to get through all of those iterations of those particles. But it's going to be a more realistic sim with some nicer erosion. So there you go. 
and now we have got this beautiful hydraulic erosion we've got these nice kind of channels that have been eroded in we've got deposits in the valleys and this is starting to look much more like a mountainous landscape if we go to the tf erosion operator tab and take that blend out that's what we had with no erosion then put it on full and that's what we have with this really nice realistic hydraulic erosion and let's just do one more let's go and put loads more particles in so we'll go to the properties and look let's put the lifetime i'm just going to turn it off while i make these adjustments so it doesn't update every time we'll put the lifetime on 55 frames we'll put the particle count up to 30,000. and now let's activate it and follow my mice down to the left so obviously we've got loads more particles and they're living for longer so it's taking longer to iterate through these simulations but the result is going to be far more pronounced and of course you can dial this up um, until you got the look that you want but look we're almost there it's going through the last few iterations now and we're going to have a much more pronounced erosion now much deeper channels and there you go look at how much that has eroded away at our landscape and now you really do get the impression that we have this realistic mountainscape that's changed over hundreds of thousands of years and eroded into what we're seeing now.